y'all. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. First of all, how are we doing today? I feel like it's been forever. I know I say that a lot. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know I say that a lot and it really has been a while. Um, but I am happy to say that things are starting to slow down here in the Womack household. And um, as of Monday, I uh, quit my job. So I have a, a little bit of extra time now. And um, so what I'm wanting to do with this time, just very briefly before we get this video started, I want to, um, first of all, devote more time to creating videos for y'all and um, just being more creative in general. But most importantly, I want to spend more time with my family. Um, these last five years have been um, a learning experience. <laughs> <laughs> and I really have learned a lot. And at the end of the day, I'm very appreciative of the opportunities that I had with um, my job. But I'm ready to spread my wings and fly to something else. What that is, I'm not entirely sure yet. But we'll just see where everything goes from here. Okay, so enough of that. That's for another video. So what I wanted to talk about today um, I was sitting and thinking, you know, I really love doing hauls and everything like that, but um, I really wanted to start doing, and this isn't going to be like a monthly thing, it's going to be kind of a periodic thing, um, I really want to do shop spotlights. And that is where um, I talk about the shop or anything like that as a whole and just kind of my experience perspective, rather than it just focusing necessarily on the product itself. We will be talking about that, of course, but I just, I really wanted to kind of highlight some of the shops that I really appreciate buying from. Um, and this isn't something where I order from them one time and I'm gonna, you know, post a video up saying, hey, this was my great experience because it's something that I really wanted to purchase from multiple times. That way I can really um, go in depth and tell y'all, you know, about the consistency of the product and everything like that. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing Imperfectly Perfect. Um, so all of my talking points are going to be, I've got my computer down here just to uh, make sure I don't leave anything out. Okay, so the talking points that I want to discuss is customer service, turnaround time, quality of the product, uh, special shop specs, so just kind of little different things that the shop may, uh, how the shop may run and everything like that, and then what they offer. So I know that was a little out of order, but we'll just go um, from the bottom to the top. So the first thing that I want to talk about is what they offer. So Imperfectly Perfect is a leather, a leather shop that offers covers for ring binders, bullet journals, and they also do traveler's notebooks. It is owned by, her Facebook name is J. Keelan Marie, and um, her business card actually says, made with elbow grease and gratitude, and I very much think that she closely aligns with that. Um, so she offers a variety of sizes for her different products and we will talk about that some. So first I'll discuss what she offers and then we'll talk about the ordering process. So some of the notebooks that she offers, she offers most sizes of traveler's notebooks, but then she also offers, um, pocket ring binder, personal wide ring binder, uh, personal size. Uh, and then she offers two different um, ring sizes, happy many happy planner covers. She does not have them for classic or deluxe right now. Uh, Hobonichi Weeks, which is really popular. Bullet journal covers for A5, B6, and A6. Um, A6 ring binders, A5 ring binders. Um, and then, like I said, most traveler's notebooks. So, um, the best way to be able to see her products is to join her Facebook page and I will leave the link down below. 
the name of her Facebook page is called Imperfectly Perfect, A Place for Keelan Dory Fans. So if you are interested, if you kind of run across this shop, um, I know there are other shops that offer kind of the same style that she does and I have not ever ordered from them. So I can't really attest to the quality or, you know, what uh, makes things super, super different in that aspect. So we're just going to talk about Imperfectly Perfect. So what she is best known for are her etched Keelan Dories, which... Um, look like this. Um, this is just one of the design options that she offers. Um, another thing that she's very well known for are her color blends and she has some beautiful ones. If you want to see more um, more examples then definitely join the Facebook page. Um, they're very very active on there. I mean there's constantly multiple posts every day of people unboxing and um, her admins on there are very active too which I think is a really good thing as far as customer service goes because from my experience the way that this shop is run is a little bit different from um, most places that I'm used to like Foxy Fix and things like that and we'll get into that a little bit more here in a little while but anyway um, so this design right here is actually a pyrography which means that it is fired to burn the design onto the cover. And then she'll take her color blends and all that kind of stuff. And I'll go more in depth about this particular one here in a minute. So that's what she's best known for, but she does offer other styles where they are maybe a different leather. Um, I did see some pebbled options on there and they're just a plain color, or you can also get an au naturel cover, which would just be the naked leather that will get a gorgeous patina over time. Um, so that's basically what she offers. Now, second talking point is um, the special shop specs. So this shop, like I said, it's very important to join the Facebook page. That way you are alerted to the time that she opens her shop. She's based on Etsy. So um, if you just look for her on Etsy more times than not if it's during the week it you're gonna see the shop in vacation mode and you won't be able to look and see what she offers unfortunately on the Etsy platform but like I said if you join the Facebook page she's got albums set up in the album portion that um, have your notebook style options um, she's got examples of the simple leather Keelan Dories which are the plain ones and then she's got another for add-on options and then the etched Keelan Dory designs, color blends, and then there is another separate one that is just for your astrological sign. So she offers currently 105 different um, options to be etched. Some of them are just on the face of your notebook and some of them are a pattern that can be etched on the entire notebook on the front and back. Um, most of them will have a, a description of them where you can see what the name of that design is. You've also got some that will have different color blends on them, but not all. Um, so basically, you will, uh, when you're ready to order, you will decide which size notebook you would like, and then you will um, put, pick whichever design you want on there. And then you will pick your color blend and the color blends you can come up with your own custom blend or like i said she's got another album on the facebook page that shows the different color blends um, just to kind of give you some inspiration for what you may want um, i think all of mine are custom blends but one of them i did not pick so in addition to being able to order on the Facebook page, she's got a special post that's in the pinned post that is the BST, which is where I purchased my ring binder here. Um, something that I really, really like about it is, you know how sometimes if you've got a fairly big shop, the BST posts can be like this long. 
Um, something that I really like is her admins on her Facebook page are wonderful. They are seriously on top of everything. And she's very, very active on her uh, page as well. So they will regularly go and filter out any of the posts. They request for you to, once your product sells and it's shipped and um, you, your customer gets it in their hands, um, that you go ahead and delete that post off of there. Um, but that doesn't always happen. So they are very good about going through, filtering out and um, all that stuff to make sure that the post is very clean with what is currently on sale that people are selling. Another good thing that I really, really like about their page as far as BST goes, they do not allow price gouging. And I think that is a really good thing. So if um, you are a, the person that maybe you work on Sunday and you can't ever get some time away to be able to order on the days that the shop is open, you still have that option to get something off of the buy, sell, trade. So that's a little bit about the Facebook page. So definitely watch the page. You will be able to see shop openings and probably about an hour before the shop opens, uh, Jen, which is one of the admins on there, she's the one that I've mainly spoken to. Um, she will, you know, open up a post where you can ask questions. So if you are a new buyer, then you can ask whatever questions you need to get yourself ready to make your purchase. I'm not saying that you have to have lightning fast ninja fingers, but um, you do have to be pretty fast in order to go ahead and order because she is only open once a week. Um, and I think that that's, me personally, I think it's a really good thing that she does that because she truly does keep her turnaround time low. And with, as many of you may know, if you order custom things, even from Foxy Fix and things like that, it generally takes at least a month for them to craft your own custom cover. And um, I'll go ahead and say her turnaround time is about four to six weeks. And generally, she completely sticks to that. I've ordered from her three different times and have been very, very happy with each one of my purchases. So um, I feel like I'm really getting stuff jumbled here. So we've talked about the Facebook page. Um, and then another thing about the Facebook page is the way that she's got her Etsy set up, it's a lot more streamlined and a lot easier to purchase now. Um, generally what you will do is whenever she is open, you will go on there and you will check which notebook style you would like. So if you want an A5 ring binder, then she'll have an option available for that. So you will click on that and then there will be drop downs. And then there's also a spot where you can type in your specifications for what you would like. And um, I'll go into that with my own personal notebooks here in a minute. Um, so for a newbie, it might be a little bit confusing, but uh, Jen has made a video where she shows exactly how to order and I find it extremely helpful. I do believe, I know in the past that they had a Sunday shopper specifically for brand new buyers. So you have to have never ordered from Imperfectly Perfect before that can assign you a special shopper that will help you through the process. Now, I know that was before she changed her, um, her way of buying, but um, they may still have that option there. But there's plenty of help on um, her admins whenever it is open time. Her admins seem to be on the computer the entire time and they are available to answer any and all questions you may have. So I find their customer service to be very, very good. And um, like I said, she's very active and all that. I've honestly never heard a bad thing about this company. And that is, um, as long as I've been in the planner community, that's pretty telling that she's very good with her customer service because even shops that are way bigger than her you hear bad things about them, but I've never heard a negative thing about her. Okay, so we talked about customer service pretty well. Turnaround time, like I said, is about four to six weeks. So let me go through here 
and just tell y'all exactly um, what the turnaround time has been for me specifically. Okay, so my first sleeve that I ordered, I have all of my customs are A5 bullet journal sleeves. So my first one, which I incidentally cannot find, um, I ordered it on September 2nd of 2018 and it was delivered to my house on October 29th. The next one was ordered on February 10th, 2019 this year and was delivered to my house on April 8th. My last one I ordered on March 10th and it was delivered to my house on May 6th. So she definitely sticks with her four to six week turnaround time. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the product itself. So like I said, this one is um, the one that I purchased off the BST. Unfortunately, this one is a retired design, which is why I had to have it because I mean, skeleton obviously. I absolutely love this thing. It is a personal wide rings. So the color blend is a red to purple and it does not have blackened edges. So here you can kind of see up close the, um, the design on there and it's got a little bit of a texture to it. Um, but her leather is generally very smooth. I was a little concerned at first about this kind of leather because I have had other notebooks that were this kind of leather and they were so stiff. And if y'all have watched any of my videos where I talk about leather covers, y'all know that I love, um, I don't love super, super floppy leather. I like leather that is very flexible, very movable, but still has some structure to it. And that is that. So both of these can stand up on their own. Yes, I do have inserts in here, but anyway. So this is a personal wide ring binder. So you've got the clasp closure. And then um, this pocket configuration, I believe is um, no longer offered, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not entirely sure. This is a card slot pocket configuration. Then you've got this side pocket here. So in addition to being able to have the etched design on the front, you can also get quotes on the inside. And my custom ones, I do not have that, but this one, the previous owner, she requested, um, she persisted. And they've got that in the add-on options album. Um, you've got different font styles that you can do. You can do ones with, you know, different, uh, like one line or multiple lines, whatever you would like. Um, so like I said, this one is my ring binder, which I'm actually, I actually found a new use for it today. I was watching my friend Dana, which is a magical underscore plans here on Facebook. <sighs> Why did I never think of this? Um, so I always keep all of my old sticker sheets. So now, I peeled off like all of the extra sticker around it, punched it and put it in my freaking binder. Why did I never think of this? Um, so I've got like removable sticker sheets. So that's what I'm going to use this little baby for. But other than that, I have not been in rings in quite some time, but now it's gonna be my sticker album. So I'll also leave her channel down below because if you have not watched her videos you are really missing out so anyway all right then the other styles like I said I couldn't find my first one um but the other notebooks that I have here are the A5 Bujo sleeves and like I mentioned her notebooks they have a really good flexibility to them but they can also stand on their own so they do have some structure um, so this one here is called Minute by Minute, and it's this beautiful hourglass design with some sacred geometry in the back, beautiful roses. And when I ordered the custom blend, I wanted, I knew I wanted gray to burgundy with blackened edges. And then I've also got that gold splatter on there. 
So I thought it was really beautiful the way that she put this together. I wasn't entirely sure how the gray to the burgundy was gonna look, but I absolutely love this notebook. And then on the inside here, I've got, um, this is the standard pocket configuration that you have for the bullet journal sleeves. So you've got the slant pocket or the side pockets here to slip your cover of your notebook in. And then you've also got these slant pockets. And the one thing that I thought I was gonna hate, I actually really, really love about these. It is this elastic band. So this elastic band is very thick and it truly holds the notebook together very, very well. Um, as you can see, this is the one that I'm in now. This one is called Luna. Um, as you can see, she is quite a chunk and this is holding my Archer and Olive. I have also put uh, the Scribbles That Matter A5 journal in here. I know for a fact it would hold a Leuchtturm and um, probably any other standard size A5 sleeves. Um, but the Archer and Olive, I believe this notebook is quite a bit thicker because it's got the thicker pages. Um, so yeah, she fits beautifully in here. So it's really a good thing that I had that elastic band on there or else this thing would be, you know, flying open. But um, when I, I carry a very big purse, when I have it in my purse, I don't worry about anything happening to a bullet journal. I don't worry about it flying open or anything like that. And then you also have this little add-on option here, which is this little eyelet here that can hold a little charm because y'all know I love to deck my stuff out. But anyway, let's talk about the, um, the, just the look of this one. So this one is the Luna. So it's just moons. And then I wanted something that was very galaxy looking. So y'all know I love the cool colors. So I requested pink, blue, purple with blackened edges and have that gold splatter there to kind of resemble stars. And oh my gosh, when I opened this up, I was so impressed. And I don't think the camera is really picking up on all of the shimmer, but it is very shimmery throughout the entire notebook. So once again, we've got the pocket configuration there. Um, and I actually just have some sticky notes here in the front. Um, but yeah, it holds my notebook beautifully. I mean, chunka chunka is quite a chunk. So but another option that you have for the bullet journal sleeves is the clasp closure, which obviously I cannot go for unless it had multiple eyelets on it to allow room to grow. So I will definitely just stick with the elastic band. And like I said, I did not think I was going to like it whatsoever, but that is one really big part that I absolutely have grown to love about these bullet journal sleeves. So... Um, consistency of the product. Every single one of these notebooks that I have gotten from her have consistently been um, no threads coming undone. There isn't any weird shift um, taking the uh, stitching out of line. The stitching has always been perfect. Um, the color blends are absolutely beautiful and the designs you know, you can kind of scratch on it a little bit, but they've always just been a very, very good product. I think that she really does um, have a wonderful quality product here. And I will definitely be purchasing more. Um, so as far as the wait time goes, um, it is a four to six week turnaround. So my best advice to you, if you are a brand new, um, if you are the type of person like I was last year and the year before and could potentially be this year, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna feel the FOMO and wanna switch to a different system, but let's be honest, I've got so daggum many traveler's notebooks and um, ring binders and everything like that. I don't think that there is something that will pop up that I'll just be like, oh, I've gotta get a brand new planning system because I can just go 
into any of those. That's a really bad thing about never finding planner peace. And right now I'm feeling very extremely peaceful with the bullet journals. So I don't mind buying multiples of these because I've already been in it before. I knew I really liked it. I stuck with that system for a while and now I'm back and I've been back in it for a couple of months now and I'm still super, super happy with it. Um, I've literally got 40 pages left of that bullet journal and I will have completed the entire notebook, which is a feat in and of itself. I have never finished a planner and I have never finished a notebook. So um, it's going to be a very monumental time <laughs> and I already have my backups for brand new journals and everything like that. So I'm good to go once I get my little chunk of filled up. But anyway, um, I think that is about it. I feel like I was extremely rambly through this video. Uh, I really hope I wasn't. I hope that I gave you good enough information. Um, so I forgot about this. If you are someone who likes to switch out notebooks quite a bit, I would wait and try to use the same system for at least a month. Um, I know four to six weeks is a long time to wait, but when you are getting something handmade, it's not Amazon. Um, so just keep that in mind. And if you have been purchasing stuff from Etsy shops and, you know, standalone Shopify sites and stuff like that, you kind of learn how to be patient as far as, um, shipping and stuff like that. I know you see something and you want it in your hands immediately. Believe me, I completely understand that. I, Amazon has really really spoiled me but um when it is something handmade like this I don't mind the weight whatsoever because I know it's going to be a beautiful product um so if you are interested in purchasing something they are a little bit of an investment um this is definitely not one of the cheapest shops I have purchased from, but once again, you are buying handmade. So you do pay for that. You pay for that person's time and the love that they put into it. And to me, that is, you know, it's very well worth what you are going to be getting in your hands. Um, so just if you're switching to a new system, like if you've never used a traveler's notebook and you really want to buy all the things, use it for at least a month. That way you know that that's what you really like because especially when you're getting into ring binders and traveler's notebooks, there are so many different sizes out there. You, it's kind of a hit or miss thing. You know, when I first started buying traveler's notebooks, I went to an A5 because I had been using an A5 ring binder. So I figured that I was going to, you know, find myself really at home in an A5 TN and it ended up being super chunky and I didn't like it. So I, I sized down to a B6, used that for quite a while. And here I am back in an A5 again. And I've gone from an A5 bullet journal to a B6 bullet journal. And I'm back in an A5, perfectly happy and at peace with A5. But it's just kind of one of those things. You got to try different things before you can really settle on what you uh, really find peace with. So... Yeah, that would be my best advice to you. So overall, I will definitely be a repeat customer to this shop. I do plan on getting more notebooks from her, but um, maybe not just right this second. <laughs> uh, let the let the bank account kind of simmer for a minute. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful for y'all. I if you made it this far, congratulations to you. I seriously commend you because I do feel like I was very, very rambly. But um, if you have any questions about this shop or anything like that, uh, please leave those down below and I'll try my best to answer any questions you may have. Like I said at the beginning of the video, be sure to check the description box for Facebook info and all that kind of stuff. And other than that, I think that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you over here. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.